So we have some additional things that we can do and take a look at. And one of them is the ability to assign values from a grid to point values. And this can be very useful if you've gone out and collected a lot of geochem samples, or you have collected some stream sets, or you have drill holes, and you do not have a good GPS unit to record the elevation values. So what you can do in that case is assign the values based on the underlying grid. So let's take a look at how that would work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open an additional table. So I'm going to say File and Open. I'm going to come back to the Geochemistry folder. And I'm going to select the file that is called Major Elements. And I'm going to open this. And so it has opened in a different map window. So what I'm just going to do is drag this table into the original um, nav window that's open. And then I'm going to close the window that was just open. So now what we have is we have all of our points that are located on the grid itself. So this is pretty much set up the way that we need it to. So in order for this to work, what I'm going to need to do is let's take a look at our major elements table in a browser window. And what I need to do is take a look at the fields that are available here and see if there's a field that I can use to store the elevation in. Oh, in this case there is. And it looks like I've already done this exercise and there's data stored in it. If by chance the table that you're trying to add an elevation value to does not have a field, what you would need to do is go up to Table, Maintenance, Table Structure, select the table that you are wanting to add your elevation values to. And what you would need to do is add a field that will store the elevation values. And the file type or the field type should be float to store a numeric value. But you can see I already have elevation here, so I don't need to do that. So in this case, I'm just going to cancel out. And what I'm going to do is let me move this table out of the way slightly. And let's see, let's come back here. What I need to do is within the map window, I need to select all the points that I'm going to assign elevations to. And a quick way to do that is using the enhanced layer control. If I put my cursor over the table that I want to select the values from and right click, the first option there is to select all these points. So you can see now all the points are selected. And what I'm going to do is come up to Surfaces. And I'm going to choose the option that says Assign Values from Grid. So once I've selected that, it needs to know the field to add the values to. And I'm going to select the Elevation field and say OK. And once you've done that, it will go through and it will calculate the elevation for each of the points that you have selected. And you can check this really quickly if you were to select the Info tool and you set Snap Mode on and you come up here and select one of your points what it's going to do is it's going to show you here's the elevation underneath that point and let's just go ahead and check the, uh, the point for that major element and let's see what the elevation actually is. So you can see yes it has captured the elevation from the grid and assigned it to the point. So that can be quite a useful tool uh, depending on what you're needing to do with your different data points. So now that I've done that, what I need to do is I need to save that table. So let's just come up to File and select the option to Save Table. And you'll see that we've got a couple of tables that we've made changes to that we would need to save. And one of them is our legend table. And the other is the table that we've just updated with our elevation points. 
So I'm going to select both of those and say save. All right, so I don't really need to do anything else with these data points. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that table. So file, close table, and I'm going to select major elements and close it. So now that I have my grid back, 